But there is just a, a possibility that, that we can look for signatures of intelligent civilizations. See, as a civilization gets more and more advanced, its energy consumption rises dramatically. With every new machine we create here on Earth, from the tiniest mobile phone to the largest power station, we produce more heat. I'll show you what I mean. Here is an infrared camera. So this is measuring not the light from you, the audience, but the heat from the audience. Because those colours are representing the amount of heat that you are putting out. <laughs> yeah, it gives away. I can see exactly what you're doing at the back. <laughs> That's because you are biological machines. Every machine, no matter how sophisticated or efficient, must do this. It must leave a telltale heat signature behind as it goes about its business. Now, a group of researchers at Penn State University are attempting to exploit this fundamental universal law using infrared cameras to search stars and even to search for entire galaxies to see if they can see hotspots, systems that are giving out more heat in the infrared spectrum than you would expect from purely natural processes. If they sift through all their data and actually find a star, a planet, or even a galaxy <coughs> with this characteristic infrared signature, then they could claim evidence not only for complex life, but for a machine-building, star-harnessing, transgalactic civilization. Doctor Who from afar. Far-fetched, yeah, of course it is. But the simple act of looking, of observing nature, is the key to science, and we shouldn't take anything for granted. And it's worth noting, finally, that we may already inadvertently have made contact. The first episode of Doctor Who was broadcast on the 23rd of November, 1963. The programme was encoded in beams of radio waves beams of light that were broadcast to the nation's TVs. These radio waves didn't simply hang around floating above the UK. They left our atmosphere expanding in spheres just like the light from Faraday's candle and began their journey out into space. Today, that signal will have reached 50 light years from this planet. What would an alien civilization think their first experience of our civilization was the adventures of a time-traveling doctor. <laughs>